Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! And now, Superman, mighty visitor from another world who came to Earth when the planet Krypton was destroyed by quakes and explosions. Superman, who can twist steel in his bare hands, leap tall buildings at a single bound, race a speeding bullet to a target, and to walk about among human beings as champion of the weak and the oppressed in the person of Clark Kent's news reporter. Sent west with hats to cover the dedication of the new national monument at Buffalo Hills, Kent had discovered that the life of Governor Carson was threatened by a gang of criminals under the lead of Pete Flores. Kent and Hatch had gone to the governor's mansion to warn him, but had been seized by the police as dangerous characters. Feeling that he could do more good out of jail than in it, Kent had leaped off and avoided arrest. As our story continues today, it is getting toward midnight, the time set by Flores for his attempt against the governor. But Kent does not know this. Determined on joining Hatch and then breaking out of jail, he has given himself up, only to meet a surprise. Hatch is in solitary confinement. And Kent's cellmate is a stranger who mistakes him for a member of the Flores gang. Realizing that this may give him the information he needs, Kent leads the man on. Listen. Okay, the jailer's gone. Now, come on, lend me your hand. Lend you a hand? Well, what are you trying to do? Listen, don't be giving me that stuff. I know what you're in here for. Oh, you do, eh? Sure, I heard what the guy said. They caught you sneaking around Carson's place. Well, I reckon you and me are playing the same record. Yeah, shouldn't wonder at all. Oh, quit being so cozy. I know Flores, too, see? Yeah? Yeah, and I know something else. I know why you're here. Oh? Yeah, and I know what we're all supposed to do tonight. So come on, come clean. Look here now, I, uh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, quit it, will you? Didn't Pete say he'd send a guy in here to help spring me tonight? Pete Flores told you that, did he? Now, you know mighty well he did. And you know why, too. Well, maybe I do. But I never take chances. Just why is Pete going to get you out of here tonight? Oh, lay off that stuff and help me with this mattress. Come on. Mattress? What are you planning on doing with that? Listen, wise guy. I'm putting it down on the floor because that's where I like to sleep. What do you think I'm doing with it? It looks to me as if you were going to build a fire with it. Well, if you ain't smart, I am going to build a fire with it. Now, listen, kid. Ain't nobody can hear you. I know why you're here. Look, what's your name? My name's Monty. All right, Monty. Me and Flores, we we can't afford to take chances. You know that. Sure, I know. So, suppose you give me the lineup. Then I'll know what's what. Look, I'll give it to you a quick Okay. Pete said he'd pick a guy that nobody know around here. So there'd be two of us when the riot begins, see? Yeah. I set fire to the mattress. There'd be a lot of hollering and smoke. Yeah. They'd come running down here, and you and me will make a getaway. Well, sounds good, Monty. Then what? Then we beat it up to the governor. There'd be a fast car waiting for us at the corner. We grab that, beat it uptown, and join Dutchy Gale outside the house. Well, sounds easy. What's Dutchy going to be doing? Dutchy will break into the mansion, drag out the governor... Well, maybe we'll have to help him. Well, we'd better take this business kind of easy. We might not be able to pull it off. Listen, kid, you don't know Pete Flores. But if it don't come off, Flores ain't going to stop there. What do you mean? Oh, he's got lots of things up his sleeve, Flores has. Yeah? Sure. If this don't work out right tonight, well, just wait to see what happens next. Well, go on, Monty. What will happen next? I don't think you know as much as you think you do. Oh, I don't, eh? Well, I do. And so do you. Now, you quit trying to kid me. Give me a hand with this mattress and get ready with your slugger. Well, what do we do? Well, we start up the fire. Like this, see? <laughs> ah, that'll do it fine. This stuff goes up like hay. I kept the match on purpose. Hey, that, that's going to make quite a blaze, Monty. You'll choke us all to death. The other guys will begin hollering in a minute. Well, then what? Well, when the keeper comes in to see what's up... You slap him over the head and we swipe his keys. Huh? <coughs> hey, that, that, that smoke's getting mighty thick. But the, but the thicker it is, the better. Stop. Hey, where are you? Stop. 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 Listen, they're coming. I heard a whistle. Hey, here comes the keeper. And the minute he opens the cell, let him have it. Hey, now. Now, where are 
are you? Hey! Hey! Now then, you we can see a thing in the smoke. I think it's time Clark Kent changed into Superman. Yeah, they can't see a thing. I'll duck right out past that keeper. If he gets in my way... Ah, sorry. Can't stop to apologize. Now then, out of here and down that corridor. Quick! Ah, there's a brick wall. Now remember, that window faces on the jail yard. Well, here we go, right through it. Ah, ah, out in the yard. And up. 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 Wish I could stop and get Hatch out of there. There isn't time now. By heavens, that fellow was right. There is a car down there. They're waiting for a jailbreak. Then they'll be after the governor. I've got to hurry. Got to get there first. Up, up, and away! Leaping skyward, a weird figure streaks through the air toward the executive mansion of Governor Carson. Red cloak screaming in the wind. Superman shoots through the night like a meteor. Over the mansion, where a single light burns in a window, he hovers, then drops lightly down. Ah, there's the governor. Inside that room on the second floor. He's just going to bed. I'll crawl along the ledge, raise the window, and walk in on him as Clark Kent. I'll tell him I got a ladder and climbed up. Ah, here we are. Evening, Governor. Who's that? Hey, what in the world? Don't be frightened, please. I had to get in, and this was the only way. Frightened? I'll show you how frightened I am. What do you mean by this? Governor Carson, I have something to tell you. It's about Pete Flores. Flores? Yes. You know about Flores. And how did you get in here? Governor, I'm a newspaper man from the East. I heard some gangsters plotting, and I came right here to tell you. Much obliged. Now, you can just stay right where you are till I call a guard. Governor, quick. What time is it? Uh, great heavens. Is that clock right? It's just midnight. Listen, you've got to listen. I'll listen. It'll take the guards a few minutes to get here. I've already rung for them. Governor, members of the Flores gang, maybe Flores himself, are coming here to kidnap you. They'll be here any second. And so will the guards. No, they won't. Don't you understand? All that's been taken care of. Oh, has it? Then what do you suggest, assuming for the time being that you're speaking the truth? Wait, look. There's a car pulling up right now. Just beyond the wall. They're coming. Governor, you've got to let me meet them here in your place. What? You're out of your mind. I say you've got to. If it's Flores, now's our chance to get him once and for all. If it isn't, well, you can't afford to risk yourself. Let them come. Just let them come, that's all. Now, hey, hey, what are you uh, doing? Confounded, sir, let me down. I'll have you jailed for this. Sorry, Governor. No time to argue. Got to be here when those fellows enter the room, and I've got to be here alone. I want them to think I'm you. No, put me down. What are you doing? Put you in the closet. Uh, it's all over. Now, quiet, please. No, I won't be quiet. Oh, yes, you will. Here, I hate to do it, but take this. There. Didn't hurt him any, but it will keep him quiet. Now, I'll just lock him in. There, that does it. After all, it's for his own good. Oh, they're coming. Where's the governor's bathroom? Now, oh, there it is. They find me in bed. They'll never stop to ask whether I'm here or not. Great Scott, they certainly didn't waste any time. They've got a ladder and they're coming right up. It's a good thing I turned off the light. Okay. Okay, there he is, boys. Lay in there in the bed. All right, grab him quick. Put that bag over his head. Hurry up before he wakes up. Yeah. Now then, jump him. Hurry! Get ahead. Hurry up. 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 Where's Flores? Well, Monty, reckon it won't do no harm to tell you now. Flores said he'd wait till we got clear, and he'd stick into the house himself and go through the record. You mean Pete Flores is back there in the mansion right now? Boy, has he got nerve. Well, he figures all the angles, kid. Hey, Mike, ain't this the lake? Hey, look, we're on a bridge right over the river. Yeah, the lake's just ahead. Yeah. This'll do fine. Pull up, Mike. Take a good look, Marty. Anything coming? No. No, I can't see a thing. It's pitch black, too. Okay. Drag him out of it. Quick. Hey. You can tie up his what hands and feet like I told you, buddy. Yeah. Put me down. I tell you, I'll have you all in jail. You're the boy, too. Come on. Right over to the edge. Oh. Now then. Swing him oh. out. I got him. You take his feet. Oh. Oh. Help. One. Put me down. Two. Oh. Oh. And away. Up 
into the air. Up, up. There they go, off in their car. I'd like to follow them and see what they're up to, but I can't. Now that what they said is true, if Flores is back there at the executive mansion, up, up and away, faster, faster. Governor locked in that closet. Flores prowling around the house. If I ever hurried in my life, it's got to be now. Hurry, faster, faster. Back along the white road, flashing over the rooftops of Boulder City, swifter than a bird in flight, Superman swoops down to the ledge outside Governor Carson's window. Here we are. Lights on again. Down. Down. There. Now then. Nobody in the room. No sign of a struggle. But he's still knocked out and locked in the closet. Governor Carson, I... White Scott. It's empty. He's not there. Where is he? What's happened? And where's Flores? Governor! Governor Carson! Governor Carson, where are you? Governor! Superman runs through the silent rooms. But not even an echo comes back to answer him. The governor has vanished. Where is he gone? What has happened? Has Pete Flores found him at last and taken sudden summary vengeance? Meanwhile, what of old Asa Hatch, whom we last saw being led off to jail? Tune in next time for the fast-moving, incredible climax. Follow the story of Superman. Up in the sky. Look. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman. <laughs> 